Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. This is a bit of a surprise Matchbox Monday because it was only when we were looking at the instructions for the Huey Bell Cobra that I saw something on there that reminded me that I'd got another X Matchbox kit <clears throat> that had been reboxed by Revel. So um, <clears throat> I'll just uh, get that kit now and uh, we'll have a look through it. So here it is, it's the Hawker Fury Mark 1. Um, and as I say, this is, uh, I, I believe this is a, an old Matchbox kit that was reboxed by Revel. Um, nice uh, artwork on the front. Um, this kit uh, will be built later this year because I intend to enter into a group build which is called Interwar Wings. And basically what you have to do is build an aircraft that was um, uh, in service between 1918 and 1939 it has to uh, show colors from that period as well so you, you can't have say a Gloucester Gladiator um, in 1940 markings that it would have to be in 38 or whatever so let's just have a look at the kit and um, see what PK number this is so here's the uh, here's the kit still in its uh, cellophane bag um, We'll just get that open. I'm um, sorry if the uh, camera goes out of focus whilst we do this. Just, uh... there we go. Pull that out. Careful not to catch any of the um, any of the uh, struts or whatever. So let's see if we can find the PK number. There it is. It's actually PK1. So I, I don't know whether that suggests that this was the um, the very first kit that was rolled out by Matchbox. Um, you know, it, it would um, it would suggest that it is being being number one, but I'd have to do some research on that, uh, which I'll probably put in the description. So I'm hoping that this will be a, a quite straightforward build for a biplane. Uh, I have bought, built other Revel biplanes and they've gone together quite well. And in fact, um, if you recall, I think the first uh, Matchbox Monday I did was uh, the Fairy Swordfish, which was uh, an old Matchbox kit, again, reboxed by Revel. And that went together, for me, better than the new um, Airfix kit. Um, when I was looking at this through the cellophane, I thought there was quite a bit of flashing here and there on the, on the parts, but looking at it now, I can't actually see any. So another good, uh, another good um, mould. Um, and I am looking forward to to building this one. So if we um, if we look at the box art again, um, this aircraft is or well, the one that's been depicted. Sorry is for number 43 squadron RAF Tangmere 1932 so that fits within the time frame that I need uh, interestingly the you, you see the yellow that's on the tail and it looks like it runs across the back as well that uh, that has to be painted on um, I, I thought the yellow here might be a decal or that may be one decal but it's not um, the decal part for that is just uh, it's just the red, white and blue on the tail there. But you do get the um, striping in fact. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly grab it. So there you can see you get the red striping and whatever. You even get a, a cockpit decal. Which is possibly something that uh, Revel have added. Um, I'm, I'm not sure whether the original Matchbox would have had that. Um, they look okay, don't they? Um, I'm hoping again that... Um, because this is a reboxing, um, that uh, these these decals will work fine, and they won't break up or anything like that. So, an interesting build for me. Um, obviously, I haven't got a Hawker Fury um, in my collection. Um, in fact, thinking about it, I've possibly only got two Hawker aircraft. Um, the one being the Hawker Hur Hurricane, but that's uh, that's got a um, a nose missing off it because I, I, I stole the blades and the uh, the hub for um, for another build. Anyway, uh, I hope you find this interesting. If you do and you like my other videos, then please subscribe. That would be appreciated. 
and hopefully I'll be back soon with another Matchbox Monday. Thanks very much.